The Mother Church of Northern Virginia, Pohick Church, was the first permanent church to be established in Fairfax County. North of the Occoquan River, it was built sometime prior to 1724. Colonists of the parish elected a governing board of 12 men, known as the Vestry, of which Augustine Washington, father of George Washington, was a member. They provided for worship services and built chapels for parishioners. Houses of worship would become known as the Falls Church, Goose Creek Chapel, Rocky Run Church, Christ Church, and Payne's Church. In 1767, the Vestry set out to rebuild their own church. The present Pohick Church represents the fruit of their labors. Vestrymen George Washington, George Mason, and George William Fairfax supervised the construction, completed prior to the outbreak of the Revolutionary War. Before and after the war, Washington was a faithful attendant at Pohick. The Reverend Lee Massey, Pohick's second rector and a close friend wrote, I never knew so constant an attendant at church as Washington. And his behavior in the house of God was ever so deeply reverential that it produced the happiest effect on my congregation. Washington and Mason, leaving after services, traveled to Gunston Hall while writing the Fairfax Resolves, which later became the Declaration of Independence. Following the Revolutionary War and the Religious Freedom Act of 1785, Virginia formally disestablished the Church of England as the official church of the Commonwealth. Episcopal churches, as they were called, underwent difficult times, but Pohick Church continued services. Depicting a dilapidated building surrounded by overgrown vegetation and overturned tombstones, American artist John Gadsby Chapman painted the earliest known picture of Pohick Church. Bishop William Meade visited is this the house of God which was built by the Washingtons, the McCartys, the Lewises, the Fairfaxes? Surely patriotism or reverence for the greatest of patriots, if not religion, might be effectually appealed to in behalf of this one temple of God. Bishop Meade's call was answered by Reverend W.P.C. Johnson. He undertook the ambitious task of raising money for the church's repair. Among the contributors were President Martin Van Buren, former President John Quincy Adams, Daniel Webster, Henry Clay, and Francis Scott Key. Tragically, only 21 years following Reverend Johnson's reconstruction, the Civil War brought new devastation. Occupying Union forces stripped the building's interior for souvenirs. Soldiers scrawled their names on the inside walls, carved graffiti onto the doorposts, and pockmarked the exterior with bullet holes. Two months later, Private Robert Sneeden visited Pohick and painted a watercolor of the debilitated church. A major restoration of its colonial interior began in 1890 and was completed in 1917. With its history spanning four centuries, Pohick continues to inspire visitors from around the world. In 1968, the church was placed on the National Registry of Historic Places and Virginia Landmarks Registry. We invite you to come and explore the rich spiritual heritage that so many have experienced.